All right, you guys, today I found a bad website and turned it into a $1,250 sale. The business owner had no idea how bad their site looked and I used DeepSeek plus DeepSight to fix it without touching any code. So I wanna show you how I did it and how you can actually do it too. Now, if you guys have never used these tools before, I'm gonna show you exactly everything you need to know step-by-step, step. we're gonna go through it. And if you don't have my prompts yet, I've been responding to anyone that comments, answering questions and things like that. Also, I wanna remind you that at midnight tonight, the price of Two Step Profit Engine, which is my best-selling course that you know goes over the strategies of landing clients with AI, is going up in price. Right now, it's just $14, but at midnight, that price is going up. So if you haven't grabbed that yet, you're gonna to wanna to hurry over there and grab that before that price increase happens. With that being said, let's talk about the tools I use to build these websites, identify the bad websites, and actually make money doing it. Number one, DeepSeek. We're gonna be using DeepSeek to find leads and to write outreach for this strategy. Number two, we're gonna use DeepSight. If you guys haven't used DeepSight before, it's this cool website programmer or builder that is built off of the DeepSeek model. And it instantly builds you an AI powered replacement website, which is really great. I don't really know how to program much. I can kind of tinker around like with like code, like HTML and CSS and stuff. But beyond that, I really don't know what I'm doing. I couldn't, I couldn't design a good looking website from scratch, but with AI I can. And uh, we use Gmail and social DMs to send the before and after to close a deal. Here in 2025, I realized that local businesses still have really awful websites. Those of you guys, you could test this out for yourself, but go and search like a service in a certain city and start going, you don't wanna look at like the top ones, like obviously one, two, and three, they're probably gonna be okay, but start scrolling down to like the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth results. You're gonna to start to find out that most of these websites have slow load speeds, no mobile optimization, outdated design and probably no clear call to action on them and these are all great things that you can help fix and get paid for so this is the first prompt that we're going to deploy to actually automate this strategy and find weak websites and the prompt is show me five local niche businesses so you were going to replace that with the niche you're entering in city with outdated or poorly optimized websites based on design, speed, or mobile issues. And DeepSeek is gonna return a list plus why each one of them had problems to begin with. Now, my sort of results with this is that it's not perfect. I find that about 50% of the results are going to result in a weak website, and then the other 50% DeepSeek just kinda of gets wrong. But let's actually put it to the test together right now. I'm gonna grab this prompt, show me five local businesses. Let's do five local bakeries in, let's do Milwaukee, where I grew up, with outdated or poorly optimized websites based on design, speed, or mobile issues. Okay, so we're gonna run this search, and keep in mind, guys, like I said, just from past experience, my experience has been about 50% of these are okay, they, they don't really get it completely right, and about the other 50% are what we're looking for. These sort of outdated websites with m poor mobile responses, slow load times, maybe not having like a SSL certificate. And if you want, you could ask for more, right? I just did five. That's usually what I start off with is five. But what you're gonna wanna start doing is you're gonna wanna start opening these websites up. Okay, well, boom, there we go. We got a DNS error on the very first one that we opened. So DeepSeek got this right. So this is gonna be a good lead now and you're gonna to wanna to save this. It might be helpful if you actually create maybe like a Google Sheet and you start putting the name of the business, the link to their website, and maybe put a little, um, you could hear right here, put what their problem is, like that you wanted to load the website, you got a DNS error. Okay, next up, Seema's Bakery. Now here, here's what I was saying, right? Remember I said it gets it right about 50% of the time, so, we're pretty much dead on with that. Like this looks like a nice website. Like this is not gonna be a good lead for us. It's saying it has a basic HTML layout with minimal styling. Like, I'm not seeing that. This looks like a pretty nice website to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. Let's look at the next one. Boom, does not load, right? Okay, so 
we're, we're pretty much seeing word for word what I told you has been my experience, right? About half of them are gonna be solid leads. The website either doesn't load um, or is designed poorly and the other half are okay. This one also does not look good, right? This looks like something that was put together in the 1990s. It's just not, not great. And then we'll check out this last one that it gave us, which is taking very long to load. So we're good. So actually, I think that was a pretty good success rate. You know, four out of five that deep seek return actually came out pretty good, pretty great. So that's the prompt. And I would encourage you to, if you need these prompts, like I said, you can leave a comment below and, um, you know, let me know what you thought of the video. If you don't already have the prompts, I can then send them to you. And if you have questions, I'll answer them as well. Prompt number two that we're gonna use is to write the outreach message. So this prompt says, write a friendly cold email offering to rebuild a poorly designed niche website using AI and show them the difference before asking for payment. Um, you can add an optional CTA, want me to show you a better version for free. So this is up to you. You can tweak this prompt to you know, work for you, but we're going to open up a new chat in DeepSeek. We're gonna paste this prompt in. And I'm gonna say, write a friendly cold email offering to rebuild a poorly designed bakery website in Milwaukee. We're not gonna actually say this AI part because that's really not necessary, but let's see what it comes up with. Okay, a fresh look for your bakery name. So we could go and grab one of these websites, National Bakery and Deli. So we could say, a fresh look for National Bakery and Deli. Let's make your website as delicious as your treats. That's a really good subject line that is really tailored down to this particular niche, right? It's gonna kind of grab their attention, it stands out, so I really like that. Next up, I hope this email finds you well. My name is Paul and I'm a web developer based in Milwaukee with a passion for helping local businesses shine online. I recently visited your bakery's website and noticed it might not be showcasing your amazing treats the way they deserve. Again, this is very niche specific and that's why these work so well. It's not just some like generic email that could work for any business because then that looks like you're just sending out spam. This is actually tailored to the city, the niche, their actual business, okay? So in today's world, a great website can make all the difference in attracting new customers and keeping regulars coming back. As a no strings attached gesture, I'd love to redesign one key page of your website, like your homepage or menu for free. Just to show you the potential, if you love it, we can discuss next steps, if not no hard feelings. Would you be open to a quick chat or seeing a mock-up? I'd be happy to work around your schedule. Looking forward to the possibility of working together. Now guys, if you are not comfortable with building out websites or doing this, please stick around because I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know. In addition, if you need help landing clients and you don't feel comfortable going at this alone, my course, Two Step Profit Engine, it's priced at $14 today and shows you how to get clients like this very, very simply and easily. The price is raising at midnight, so if you haven't jumped in on this yet, visit the link in the description of this video. But with that being said, let's dive into now how we're actually going to build out this website using DeepSight. So let's pretend that it was National Bakery and Deli, okay? We're gonna take this exact business and pretend they took us up on that and they wanna see you know, what, what this looks like. Okay, so we're gonna utilize DeepSight. Now, DeepSight is what's called a hugging face space. You can just Google it, DeepSight hugging face, and you will find it. It looks just like this. Now, the AI is down here in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, and you're gonna type what you want it to do. So we're gonna say, I want you to build a website for our bakery, National Bakery and Deli. We are located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You could go as much as you want, as detailed as you want on this. You could have them put the phone number in and all that stuff. They don't actually have it listed here, so I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Let's just say, here's some of the things we offer. Some of the things we offer are, okay, here we go. Now, DeepSeek is the model that's going to power up this website builder. But as you can see, it's getting to work and on the left-hand side, it's actually writing all the code in real time. If you look at the title tag right here, it says National Bakery and Deli. It actually got the name of the company right, which is amazing. There you go, you can see it's actually getting to work. 
Did it pull the logo? I think it did actually pull the logo, the style of the logo, which is pretty impressive as well. So we're gonna let this get to work and finish building out. Look at this. How insane is this, guys? Right in front of our eyes, it's doing this all of the work for us. Now, while that loads, let's cover a few more things. So, like I said, I used Deep Seat to build Deep Sight to build the new website. I entered in the business name, the location, and the niche, and DeepSight generated the homepage, the services page, calls to action, mobile optimizations, and it takes 90 seconds to build out the entire thing, right? Which is crazy. Then I sent the message, hey, I noticed your website might be losing customers. I used AI to create a version that looks faster, looks modern, and works better on mobile. Want to see it. Now, I've been experimenting with leaving this AI part out of it. You know, part of me feels like it doesn't really matter whether or not I'm using AI or not using AI. Like, does the customer really need to know that? Probably not. They probably really don't care about how you do it. But the client's reaction is great. They're like, wow, this is such a huge upgrade. How much is this going to cost? So I offer three different pricing tiers. And this is why this is such an easy sale to get a customer to say yes to because they have multiple options ranging from various prices. Price number one is $297, which is the site download files. They just basically download them and then they can take care of getting set up with hosting or whatever they wanna do. Number two is 750, which is I install it all for them. So basically they just, they just pay me the 750 and then I go into their, their web host and I just install it all for them. Very easy to do, right? You just drag the files in via FTP and you're done. Or 1250, which is a full install and ongoing edit. So basically I give them an option to make some changes to the website while we're doing the install. Like maybe, you know, a week from now they have some edits they wanna make. I give them some options to be able to do that. So the final sale, $1,250, the client paid via Stripe. It took me less than two hours from start to sale and zero coding required. This is all done without code, without designing, or without phone calls, which is crazy, right? So here's why this works so well. Most business owners don't know that their site sucks. They're focused on their business and not their online presence. And you're not just pointing out a problem, you're actually solving it in advance. And this approach demonstrates value immediately. When they see the before and after, they wanna buy. This visual comparison creates an immediate desire to upgrade. So let's actually see what that upgrade looks like now that we've given DeepSight some time to load. It looks like it's actually still going, which is kind of insane. So we'll let that keep going. It's building a pretty massive website here, as you can see. But still, even, even this, I mean, it's just been like a couple minutes and it's going crazy with the website, actually adding in hours um, and everything, which is really, really impressive. Let's talk about while well, that loads, how to repeat this. So. Here's how to repeat this. You're gonna use DeepSeek to spot five to 10 weak websites. You're gonna build two to three deep site demos. You're gonna send customized outreach, and then you're gonna follow up using AI written DMs. And basically you close one to two sales per week at 500 to $1,500 each. And that's a very, very conservative estimate on a plan that I think most of you guys here can take action on and do. So here's the website. We are like 95% of the way there on this website. And look at it, it looks crazy. Look at it compared to what it was before. This is what it was before, right? Kind of insane, right? And then here's what it is after, wow. What a difference, pretty insane. Now we can go in here and we can edit all this stuff, it's not hard. Like you just go and look through the code and like, like, let's say like we wanted to change, um, I don't know, like, let's say we want to change this footer at the bottom where it says 2023, because it's not 2023. You just come in the code and you just change it like that. So now I've changed it to 2025. Boom, it did it. Let's say that um, you can also prompt AI. Let's say where it says Milwaukee's Best Bakery awarded 2022 to 2023. Let's say we were actually awarded best bakery in 2021, not 2022. 
you can tell the AI that. Like if you don't know how to like even look through the code and like try to find these changes yourself, you can tell the AI that and it'll do it for you, okay? Look, it changed it. So super easy to do. And this is basically the strategy, guys, to build this all out. You can then save this project and download the files or like I said, you can offer to install it for them. Now, guys, if you want my AI website starter kit, which includes five DeepSeek prompts, my website template structure, my follow-up scripts and all that stuff, like I said, just leave a comment and then if you have any questions or anything like that, I'll answer your questions and I'll drop you a link to get started with that with the prompts. Also, if you want my full system inside of Two Step Profit Engine, you're gonna get my advanced AI selling strategy, my templates, my workflows, and all of that stuff. The link is in the description of this video. So you wanna make sure you grab that if you haven't yet. And then coming up next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stay tuned because we're gonna talk about can DeepSight build a full lead gen agency? Well, I tested it and make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so that you don't miss that. Anyways, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, make sure you smash a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you next time. I am Paul James. Peace out.